So guys, it's been about a month since we last pulled an invincible card on this channel. A month. Do you guys know how much VC we've gone through in the last month? Honestly, I don't really want to know. Another big reason we are honestly here today is because uh, you guys clearly want to see me suffer. Because uh, last week, I set the like goal on that video to 9,000 likes. Do you know what that video is sitting on right now? I don't know, but I know one thing for sure. It's currently over 12,000 likes on that video. You guys are absolutely insane. Hence why we're here today. Now you might have already caught on to the theme with, you know, the shirt that I'm rocking because I like to color match now. It seems like you guys are catching on to that and you're vibing with it. But take a look at today's packs, man. I mean, if we don't get anything out of today's packs, then 2K simply just got it because this is the most invincibles they have put in packs yet. Look at this, man. We've got, um, Gord the God Butcher Kevin Durant hashtag I want to be the Slim Reaper type business there okay we got Anthony Davis I don't even know what that hero card art is the crazy thing is they did not even give my man a unibrow like <laughs> what are we doing here up next we've got the invincible Kevin Durant likely going to be the biggest chase card of today although I don't think He's actually going to end up being the best card and you guys are going to see why as we just keep looking at these cards. This is one of the most cracked drops I've ever seen. Almost everybody is over seven feet tall. We then got Invincible Admiral David Robinson himself and for those of you guys wondering why he doesn't have a hero card, people with hero cards are only people that have NBA championships so now you'll know that moving forward. And then we got Dark Matter Bowl Bowl. Thank goodness that is not an invincible card, but he looks scary. What's even crazier is he is not the card that scares me the most from today. We still got to scroll down for that. You then got a Dark Matter Mo Bamba, who honestly is going to end up being a cheaper price. So budget players, you might be able to afford him. He's always been a good budget type card every year. So I don't see that changing. Then we got the invincible version of the brow himself. And then there he is. 99 overall Dark Matter Thon Maker, the seven foot small forward. That's why I think he's going to be scarier than Bull Bull. He's got the Scotty Pippen behind the back. He's got Sigs. His jumper's now on very quick. I mean, guys, this drop all around is nuts. There's the invincible version of Ben Simmons as well. Then you got other tall players like Reggie Theus. Ger Gerald Wallace apparently has one of the best jumpers in the game. Alexi, another seven foot small forward at a 98 overall. Franz Wagner, he looks good. Lori Markinen is a seven foot small forward as well. Like, Guys, th this drop all around is nuts. And obviously in today's mission, I would ideally like to walk away with an invincible card. I mean, we've been spending what? 2 million VC damn near every single week. <laughs> and we still haven't seen an invincible, man. But that changes today. At the very least, I gotta walk away with Thon Maker. Otherwise, we will keep going until we see an invincible. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, man, you know exactly what to do. Sub up, we're on that grind to 400K. We're already at 332K, so thank you for all the love. And this time, I am setting the like goal to 10,000 likes. 9,000, I didn't think you guys would hit, but 10,000, I don't know if you guys can do that consistently. So if you guys do that, then we'll be back here next week again. But uh, yeah, man, now it's time to load up on VC and get down to business. Boom, 900,000 VC has been secured. Now, I do want to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit off at times. That's because I was recording a banger for you guys yesterday. It will be out tomorrow, and I think you guys are going to love it. But yeah, man, so far, content in Season 7 has been cracked. I mean, one thing I've realized is that this is all the exact same set, just with different colors every single week. So we'll have to see what kind of drip we're going to have to rock next week. But hopefully... We can pull some stuff, man. We're gonna get right into business. The 20 packs. I realized that the 10 packs don't bless me at all. I realized that the singles actually aren't the worst, but if I don't see at least a Galaxy Opal Shake in the first 20 packs, I'm not gonna be a very happy person. Already seeing a Pink Diamond off the bat. Do Pink Diamonds not shake? Nope, I'm just not getting anybody from the actual set. There's Jalen Brown, and speaking of the Celtics, man, they've got a 2-1 lead over the Golden State Warriors. When I first said that I had the Celtics in six, a lot of you guys in the comment section were like, HTB, they'll be lucky if the Celtics even win one game. 
and now they are currently up two to one now keep in mind i don't like the celtics i just think they're gonna win the series there's two different things going on there i am not a celtics fan whatsoever i despise the celtics because uh they used to do my boy lebron dirty i'm a heavy raptors fan i don't even consider myself a lakers fan i just very much support lebron james while he is on the lakers but Man, it's looking like it's trouble right now for the Warriors. Steph Curry was doing all he could in the last game. One person that definitely needs to step up is Mr. Triple Single. Like Draymond Green right now, I think he has more fouls than he has points in this series. It's that bad. Who was the last person that did that? I can't remember. But anyways, yeah, man, it, it's quite crazy right now. Klay Thompson, while he definitely was, you know, hot last game, it's becoming more and more obvious that he's losing his touch. Right there is Steph Curry, who is looking to win his first finals MVP this year. But honestly, guys, even if the Celtics end up winning, I don't think Jason Tatum is going to be the finals MVP. I mean, I feel like we can all agree that so far, Jalen Brown has been the best player on the Celtics in the finals. Last series, it was obviously Tatum, and they definitely go back and forth a lot, but Tatum has been inconsistent for most of this finals, and Jalen Brown has definitely stepped up. Now, he's definitely had his bad times, but I just love the NBA finals, man. I wanted to go seven games at the end of the day because truthfully, I don't want basketball to end. As soon as the playoffs always end, then it's like, that depressing time. I mean, the NBA draft is always fire, but the offseason always takes its time as we finally see our first shake in this 20 box, and at least it's going to be a Galaxy Opal. That's better than every first 20 box we've ever opened so far on these pack openings. Mmm. Okay. Number 17 from the Oklahoma City Thunder, Alexi Pokuzhevsky. This man used to be glitchy. I wonder how glitchy he is this year. I haven't looked at this card six, but... I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up being an absolute budget god. He is all sticks and bones, but that doesn't seem to matter when you're playing 2K. I was really hoping that would be a dark matter. I'll take another kind shake. It's going to be a pink diamond. I already forget who's in the set. Michael Carter Williams, Eastern, small forward, number 22, Orlando match. Oh, Franz Wagner, one of the better rookies from this year. Okay, I'll take it. I like it, man. Picasso. But yeah, man, tonight is going to be game four of the series. And honestly, I think whoever wins tonight is going to end up winning the series. If Golden State ties up the series with how good Boston has been playing, I think they'll be thrown off a little bit. And then if Boston goes up 3-1, of course, I don't see them blowing a 3-1 lead. And if they do, then Steph Curry's legacy, honestly, is going to look that much better if they win a ring after that. But I'm just glad that the NBA Finals have been exciting. Like, it didn't end up like Boston, Miami, where games were blowouts and stuff. They've all been super close and super gritty games. So, I would say that the Finals so far have been good. And even though, like, people say they're tired of watching the Warriors, Steph Curry is such a fun player to watch. Even though some people might not have wanted the Warriors in the Finals, just to switch things up. I mean, at least Boston's in there, so that's something different. But at the end of the day, man, Curry is so fun to watch. It is tough seeing that Klay Thompson is slowly getting washed, though, because... That man can no longer play defense like he used to. Like, he can definitely shoot the ball once in a while super nicely, but defensively, man, Klay Thompson is definitely cooked. So, let me know in the comments, guys. Who do you have winning game four? The Celtics or the Warriors? And who's going to go off in that game? Pack number 20 out of 20 here definitely wasn't good. But, uh, yeah, man, I usually like to start these pack openings by talking about what's been happening in the NBA. And, honestly, let me know in the comments, man, what's been going on in your guys' lives. Are y'all playing any sports this summer? What exactly are you guys up to? For me, I've been playing rec soccer. I've been getting cooked. I'm definitely not the best player. But, luckily, I've got amazing teammates. So, we've been winning every single game so far. But... Yeah, I'm definitely not the best. But now, boys, it's time to get down to business. Yes, this is how we start the second box. Now, we're ready to pull the gems, man. I got gamma literally flowing through my body. I need to see something beautiful. I was debating painting myself completely green to be the Hulk because gamma, but that would take way too long. And if I painted myself completely green to pull nothing, I would have literally turned into the Hulk and broke my monitor. But there's Gerald Wallace, man. People are saying that he's got the glitchy base 99 jumper. I don't know base jumpers like that, so y'all let me know just how crazy that is. Low pink diamond right there, that has to be Michael Carter. Nope, turns out packs are still gonna shake even though I've pulled the pink diamond. It's all good though. Franz looks like he's gonna be a solid budget beast. I need to um, do an all rookie first class squad builder because a lot of you guys have been asking for it, but honestly all around guys, thank you again for messing with the channel. Y'all been loving the pack openings, y'all been loving the squad builders. Essentially everything I've put out 
you guys have turned into a banger. Hopefully today we won't have to pull out the horse mask, man, because y'all know, see, I, I got a little cleaned up today. Got a little clean fade. Tell me that's not looking minty, but yeah, man, horse mask HDB has to retire. I just don't have the voice. That's a dark matter, right? Nope. Right? Nope. That's not a normal shake. I am I bugging? I don't think that's a dark matter. I think I'm bugging. Hold on. Oh, I, how did I forget what dark matter shakes look like? Welcome to the team, rookie of the year, Michael Carter Williams, who won rookie of the year and then literally disappeared as far as talent goes. That was like his peak, was his rookie year, which is just nuts to see finally. Our first dark matter. I will take anybody that is not Mo Bamba. If it's not Mo Bamba, it's an automatic dub. I mean, I don't really want hero Anthony Davis, but boom, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually off to a better start than most of our pack openings. Ooh, all right. I need to manifest it, man. My name is Ben Simmons. What? I don't shoot shots. I like to pass out of my open shots. I don't like to shoot three pointers and I'm invincible today. Give me Ben Simmons. If, if 2K gives me Ben Simmons, I will pass out of every open shot for my next unlimited game. I promise you. Come on, 2K gods. Western, power forward, number 10. Who is this? From the... <gasps> oh, there he is. Let's go. Bowl, bowl is officially in my hands. Basically, the cracked version of a Chris Tapps Porzingis is home. I'll take it, man. Even though I think Thon Maker is going to be the better card, I'm dumb happy. We obviously got a Dark Matter Bobo. This man's still going to be glitchy at the end of the day. That's a good start to a pack opening. Like I said, if it's anyone but Mobamba, I'm simply just not going to complain. My goal is to get back-to-back -back Dark Matters in a pack opening. That still has not happened to me this year. I need the 2K gods to show me a ton of love because I don't want to have to go spend 2 million VC. I, I'd be okay with just 900,000 or I guess a million VC. That would be ideal, but it's looking like that's not the case. Hey, look, it's Bo Cruz. Have y'all seen that new hustle movie? If, you, if you've seen it, then you understand. Bo Cruz needs a Dark Matter card in NBA 2K22. I can't lie. Moving on though, if you guys have not seen that new hustle movie on Netflix, this is not a hashtag ad. It's legitimately an amazing basketball movie and I think most of you guys are gonna like it. I love the cast that they chose. Anthony Edwards was super good in that movie as well because I think they recorded that while he was in a, a rookie because he looked very young in there. Either way though, just go check it out and then let me know how y'all like it. We're gonna finish off this box with only one Dark Matter, but that's honestly better than none. Franz Wagner, you Daddy. can go. <laughs> I'm so glad I did not pull a duplicate Dark Matter because um, 2K is not letting me send any cards from this set to the auction house. Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick. All right, man, I'm gonna open a couple singles here just to see how things go because you never know, man. The singles do be blessing at the most random times. In this case, we're not really seeing anything. Jonathan Isaac and Luke Kennard. It's crazy how every end game card is basically out right now. Dark Matter, Jonathan Isaac, Bull Bull, Thon Maker, David Robinson, Ben Simmons, like you name it, they're out. Luka Doncic, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I, I keep thinking, what more do they have to release? Like next week, who are we gonna get? A lot of these cards are going to be better than whoever comes out moving forward. It's honestly just crazy, but I guess 2K wasn't kidding when they said Season 7 was going to be the end game. And honestly, I love it, man. Every card's been cracked, but here's the thing. You don't need to use invincible cards in the game to actually win games. Like, there is definitely times where I'm, you know, jumping into Unlimited, and I'll be randomly getting cooked by somebody using Dark Matter John Wall on my Invincible Luka. So, it's that point in the year where you can really just use any card you want and get hoopy with it like for me example i have luca i got all these op cards but my favorite card right now in the game is definitely invincible Dwayne wade he, he's such a dog oh i was really hoping that would be a dark matter it's gonna be a galaxy opal i think we honestly saw more dark matters in our last pack opening than this one i, I gotta see at least one or two more that's not even gonna be somebody from the actual sets 2K is trolling me with dynamic ratings cards, man. What's an HTB pack opening without a dynamic rating player? Thank the 2K gods, though, that there's no dark matter dynamic rating still, because I remember when they did that with, who was it, Kyrie Irving? That was the biggest troll ever! As we see ourselves, another dark matter. See, one dark matter per box, I'm not gonna get mad at that. Again, 
anybody but Mo Bamba and I'll be happy because I don't got hoes calling, okay? Mo Bamba's got hoes calling. I don't have any hoes calling. I'll take a Ben Simmons. Any version? Eastern Center, no, number five. I sang the song and I got finessed for it. You know what? Get it out of the way, man. It's cool. I got hoes calling. I'm not gonna lie, 2K, pulling a Dark Matter Mobamba doesn't count, so give me one more in this box, please. I mean, it's cool that we got it out of the way because at some point everyone's gonna pull a Mobamba, but I like to see an invincible card, please. P please. Yeah, so the rest of this box has oh, been shit. dog water, except for the last one. 2K heard my prayers. I said, since Mobamba was a Dark Matter pull, it doesn't count. Imagine this is another one in the exact same spot. I'm not gonna sing the song. I want to sing it so badly because it's playing in my head right now, but Sixers jersey. Sixers jersey plus one passing. Who likes to pass? Ben Simmons. Suns playbook. Ben Simmons used to date Kendall Jenner until Devin Booker was then in her guts. What? So guess what? This simply has to be Ben Simmons. I don't even have to think about it. It's Ben. It's Big Ben. Got him. <laughs> <sighs> this is what I feared. This is what I feared. I told 2K it didn't count, so they were like, you know what? If you don't want it to, to count, why don't we give you two of him? Because then it counts. <laughs> I'm sad inside. Thank goodness we can send duplicates to the auction house because if they didn't change that, I would have actually cried. So things are looking all good now. We can quick sell the rest and we can get right into another 20 box. So that was an actual good box because we still got two Dark Matters. Was it Mo Bamba? Yes, it was. Did that suck? Absolutely, but I'm not gonna complain, man. Seeing a Dark Matter shake is good in general for a pack opening video. I would just like it to be one invincible this evening. So the only thing we don't wanna see is Eastern Conference. I know, Ben Simmons is Eastern, but there's way more gems on the West and I'll take D-Rob or Kevin Durant over Ben. I really wanna say if this next pack is a Dark Matter, I'll twerk, but the last time I said that, it didn't go well. So I'm not gonna say it and thank goodness nothing came of it, man, because I probably would have anyways. Either way, let's keep it going. LeBron James's number is not looking too lucky, man. All right, see, now we're in the dark times. Now we're at that point where the conversating has stopped. I just wanna see some heat. This has been a bad box. <laughs> this is just, they gave me two Dark Matters and they said, you know what, nah. Yeah. You're not getting another one. You want to complain about Mo Bamba? How about nothing? This might have been an even worse box than the first one because at least we got a Galaxy Opal double holographic. I mean, that's cool, but I don't care. I, I just want a Dark Matter. All right, so unfortunately, our only option now is to go into a 10 box. Do I want to? Not really. I could have honestly just bought more VC and kept going with the 20s, but I'm going to give them a chance. They haven't been too good to me, but you know, things switch up every week. And you gotta just know, man, when you got the Gamma powers, like this Gamma shirt right here, and you're not just pulling quartz, things can get better. I, I truly believe they can. This is tough. Th th this is bad. Only a pink diamond. I'm assuming that's probably Michael Carter Williams again. Eastern, power forward, 24. Who is this? I forgot he was in packs, wow. I didn't pull him this whole time. I thought I was like, it's not Siakam from the Bulls. It's not Tony Kukoc. Okay, Laurie Marketing. You, I don't know if you should be wearing the number 24, but it, it is what it is. Let's just finish off this 10 box. So at least we pulled someone that we apparently have not seen in our first 60 packs. That's not a dark matter either. That's a galaxy opal. Ah, this is tough. Dynamic ratings. This is just bad. This, this is just, I really thought our invincible streak would end today. People people say I have YouTuber pack luck. You know, I thought YouTubers could at least pull invincible cards. I, I literally have not seen one out of a pack in a month. But now boys and girls, it's time to lock down. I need to see invincible Anthony Davis. The worst invincible of them all. That's what I'll accept. I just need to actually see one. Just. Just show me one, not these pink diamonds. Franz Wagner, you're such a good player, but we've seen you literally 10 million times in the last like 25 minutes. All right, gotta put on these smart glasses. So um, 
I can uh, calculate that uh, so far according to the pack to uh, player ratio that uh, we pulled so far, I can um, certify that HDB's pack luck is indeed ass. You're stupid. One thing I'm not surprised 2K is doing for me at this point is just giving me free VC. I, I open so many packs, I upload so many pack opening videos, at least, you know, plug me with some free VC. Maybe it's, maybe you don't want to because I keep saying pack luck is terrible and I advise you guys not to open packs and maybe that's why, but yo, <laughs> the millions of VC we have put into this in the last month is unspeakable. All right, 2K, you, you guys have had enough of the lols. We need to start seeing some beautiful shakes in here. And I'm not talking about the Galaxy Opals, man. How long has it been since we pulled a Dark Matter? Like, two 20 boxes and a 10-pack? Man. Gerald Wallace, man, again, a card that I'm hearing is going to be a dog. If you guys get the chance to pick him up, he's likely going to be going for under 10,000 MT. So let me know just how good of a card he ends up being. I have debated doing like videos on the side where it's not like a full gameplay, but it's a quick brief and talk about of a card on TikTok. So if y'all want to start seeing more TikToks as well, let me know in the comments because that's probably something I should get on before TikTok eventually dies off. So I'm going to ease off the boxes for a little bit. I'm going to open a couple singles until the boxes decide to wake up and actually give me a dark matter. Maybe they've moved on to the singles. Maybe they're all in the 10 boxes. But either way, I'm just not going to open a 20 for a little bit. If these singles go bad for a while, then we're just going to say GG's finish off our 20s. That's why you move on to the singles after a while. That's where they've been hiding, man. That's where they've been hiding. Literally the second single as soon as I say it. I knew something was up with those 20s. They were getting way too sus. I need to see an Invincible. Please end this dark streak of none. Anything but Eastern, please. No! Yes! Yes! I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it, I take it. Like I said, I think this is actually the best card to drop in today's set. 99 overall Dark Matter Thon Maker. I saw Eastern Conference and I was ready to go, Hose Colin. I'll take it, man. I'll definitely take that. Yes, sir. Dark Matter Thon Maker, welcome to the squad, baby. I think now we've pulled basically every Dark Matter that isn't or that is part of the set we might be missing one more person but we have mo we got bulbul and we got thon so that's got to be all of them so we can basically complete the set at this point i don't care about that though because i need to see an invincible man so we spent quite a bit of mt at this point so it looks like these singles have definitely started to calm down so we're gonna get right into the 20 box now before we spend all our mt because i'm gonna need to make some mt to now what looks like buy an invincible to get you guys a gameplay but luckily i can at least record for thon maker or bowl bowl maybe they've moved back to the 20s maybe they're in the 10s either way i gotta see one more a couple more dark matter glows would be nice actually halfway through this box and uh we still haven't seen anything except the holographic dennis schroeder this is bad this is very bad Nani? yes sir that was that's that's what we love to see right in the middle number 12 is there anybody that wears number 12 ben simmons was 21 or 22 on the sixers please be an invincible or hero card any of the two western power forward number three let's go that's an invincible because the hero would not have a number have we done it have we done it let's go finally Finally! Yes, now Anthony Davis, go ahead and celebrate as much as you want. The the, the streak is over. <laughs> it's been a month. It's been a month, but the job is done. Anthony Davis has been secured. Oh, you know what? Now the rest of this pack opening can honestly be garbage, and I won't be mad. Anthony Davis, Thon Maker, and Bobo. And you know what? F it. Mo Bamba. The man that's got all the hoes calling was calling all the invincibles today, so I'm completely fine and very happy with that. Imagine we get one more dark matter. We finally secured an invincible, though. I'm so as long as you see Western Conference, man, you know something good is coming your way because 
there's no bad one. If it says Western Conference, it either has to be Bull Bull or it has to be an Invincible card. So that's a win-win situation. So that's definitely what you're looking for in these Dark Matter Glows. I don't trust the Eastern Conference. I'd rather go out there and just buy the Ben Simmons than pull him. Plus, I honestly don't think Ben Simmons has been that OP this year. Like, that glitched Ben Simmons has been out for how long? And I don't see many people running him. And if they do, he's not that scary of a card. Not wasting any time, man. Straight into another 20. So maybe we should alternate between boxes and singles, which means I definitely messed up here. But... It doesn't matter. We've already gotten an Invincible. Do I wish it would have been Kevin Durant? Yes. David Robinson, I don't really care too much for. I think AD's going to be a dog, but I'm just glad we pulled something at the end of the day. That's truly not a dark matter. It is going to be a Galaxy Opal. Please don't be a troll. Pardon me? Every time it's been in the middle, I know it's only been in the middle once, it has been an invincible card. This time on number 13. Something deep in my guts, anus, huh? is telling me. Invincible Kevin Durant. At the very minimum, Slim Reaper hero with the hood on. Just go ahead and bless me. I see Ime Yudoka there. He should not be an Emerald Western again. Power forward, number 10. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's another bull bull. I'm not going to lie. I really thought we were going to see Kevin Durant there. Every time you see Western Conference, like I said, it's a guaranteed banger of a pull. Two bulls is better than one. Get it? Because it would literally be bull bull. No? Okay. Ah, I thought that was going to be a dark matter. But honestly, all around, ever since we threw these uh, fake specs on, Pack luck has been way better than it's ever been. Who is this? Point guard number 24. Oh, we haven't pulled him yet. Reggie Theus. <laughs> okay, welcome to the team, buddy. We've only been pulling that other Galaxy Opal, Gerald Wallace, and there's one more, but we never had Reggie Theus. I'll take it. Okay, look at that. Little Dark Matter Bowl Bowl. We love to see it, Gerald Wallace. I did pull a holographic Franz, but that was in the last pack, so I don't know why it's showing up again. The holographic for this set looks so mint. Like, look at that comparison. It's actually so fire with the white. I like that so much better. All right, man, so we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna go into a 10 box. Maybe that's where the last dark matter is hiding. Either way, man, it looks like we won't have to go over 2 million. Last week, it was like, what, 2.3 million? 2.3 million, this, this. Hold on. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. I'm gonna say this in advance because I already know it's him. I'd like to welcome the Dark Matter 99 overall Invincible Kevin Durant to the HTB roster. Did I just speak it into existence? Tell me I did. What Easter? No! <laughs> oh, the man that just so happens to have all the hoes calling. And calling. And calling. <gasps> what a celebration there. What was that? I thought I saw steam coming out of his head. That would have been fire. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I mean, on the bright side, not every pull we had today was a Mo Bamba because that's truthfully what I was scared of. The fact that we got more than one Bull Bull is already enough for me. But Thon Maker is definitely the card that I'm excited for the most. Anthony Davis is likely going to be a dog. Don't get it twisted. But I really can't wait to use that Thon Maker. Now, like I said, guys, while I don't advise that you guys go out there and open packs and instead you should just watch my videos to get the satisfaction of pulls and enjoy it with me, if you do decide to go ahead and open packs, I wish you the best of luck. Because keep in mind, it can go like how my first 20 box went or it can go like how my last couple packs went. It really is super hit or miss and you are just better off saving your money than you are gambling the chance at pulling that dark matter but again not giving you guys advice do what you want with your own money i just you know prefer to see you guys happy smiling and financially stable but at this point guys i'm gonna open a couple singles we're gonna see how lucky we can get and then uh we're basically gonna call it i'm already ready to pull something up on youtube while i hopefully wait to see that dark matter shake because every time i watch any of the sports analysts it seems like that's when we get the most lucky so I'm probably going to see them talk about what's going to happen tonight with that Celtics versus Warriors matchup. I'm going to take these glasses. Actually, no, they've been lucky. Jalen Brown on this playoff run. 
I really thought that was going to be a dark matter. We've opened a ton of MT so far. I'm trying to get lucky here, man. So um, at this point, guys, pack luck isn't exactly the greatest. This video that I'm currently watching, they're discussing whether there should be a playoffs MVP on top of a finals MVP on top of a conference finals MVP. Now, I can understand the whole idea of a playoffs MVP, but personally, I kind of like it the way it is. Let me know in the comments, though, guys. Should there be an MVP for whoever had just the general best playoff run? It's, it's kind of weird because I feel like you'd have to take the finals off. I don't know. It's just way too many MVP awards being thrown out there, but... Yeah, man, y'all can see I'm down to under 400,000 MT. Our singles are not hitting. Honestly, the boxes are probably going to be hitting right now, but I'm just not going to do any more VC. I am debating, though, doing a second pack opening this weekend where we continue our hunt for Ben Simmons, Kevin Durant, and the David Robinson. So if we somehow manage to get, you know what, 11,000 likes on this video, I got you guys with yet another pack opening this weekend that's right double the trouble and my wallet's gonna hurt but i do it for you guys either way i think we are gonna call it at that when we do go to our collection though you guys can see we basically completed this full set right here it says nine out of 11 but these two cards are probably gonna either be in triple threat online a locker code or triple threat offline Derek fisher looks nice kevin McHale actually looks like he's gonna be decent but I don't know. At this point in the year, there's so many good cards, which is why, again, you can probably pick up this Kevin McHale and have a ton of fun with him. Either way, I'm liking what 2K has done with the packs. I'm liking what 2K has done with all the free content we've gotten in Season 7. It really has been a vibe all around, and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys a ton more new content. Y'all can see originally owned anthony davis it feels very good to see that man it's been a while since we pulled an invincible card but the streak of drought is officially over this weekend we eat boys thank you for tuning in if y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers sub up baby on that grind to 400k as i'm making this video we literally just hit 333k so thank you all you're amazing and take care